We have lived through extraordinary times. The COVID-19 pandemic happened to all of us, all over the globe. We felt the connection and also the distance. And while the virus took centre stage, people with other medical conditions suffered. But Chain of Hope did not stop. We navigated critically ill children across travel restrictions. Three-year-old Ian from Rwanda needed urgent surgery to survive. He was flown to Barcelona and treated successfully. The Chain of Hope continued its work during this dreadful time. We had to evolve new strategies to help the children. We have to save one life at a time. We cannot leave children with heart disease die. We sent life-saving cardiac equipment and supplies to our international hospitals, and we continued to ship equipment to Aswan Heart Center, helping children like Mohammed. In Ethiopia, Khalifa was one of 54 children saved by our supply line during the pandemic. In Uganda, Abaho received life-saving surgery and 12 others were treated. In Jamaica, we provided critical PPE and supported the team. In all, 48 children were saved. We funded surgeries in the Middle East. We partnered with an international team on a mission to the Dominican Republic where we carried out 24 procedures in one week. Meanwhile, in the UK, we lent our equipment to the NHS to support critical care. Through the pandemic, against great odds and at personal risk, we reached around the globe. Altogether, we treated 400 children and young adults and protected our care workers. In this year, perhaps more than any other, we were a chain of hope. We did not stop, we do not stop, because hearts must keep beating. <laughs>